Hello and welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the car, welcome back to Cornwall, welcome back to autumn, welcome back to, it's early November? I, I guess, yeah, still early November. It's the 12th, 12th, a third of the way through November and we've had three storms roll through. I'm eyeing the clouds over there because it's absolutely raining over there. The ground is absolutely saturated. The winds have died down for, for now. And then the air temperature outside the car is about 14 degrees Celsius. And that's kind of interesting because a few nights ago I was in bed and I was listening to the wind howl through, absolutely howl through. Three o'clock in the morning, all the slates on the roof were just rattling. And I was like, ah, maybe the roof is gonna let go. And then there was a roll, a sound like rolling thunder and then a crash as something disintegrated as it hit the ground like it was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. And I was like, oh bugger, the roof has come off. That's a big issue. Well, actually it wasn't our roof. It was the next door neighbor's roof. It was their, ooh, it was the, uh, the, the keystones, the, the stones that go across the top of the roof. And they'd all just sort of let go and come down and hit the ground and disintegrated, which is, it's not great for them. They've only been in there like eight months or so, six months, eight months, something like that. So yeah, the weather down here has been something. Oh, it's been summit. It's been summit to behold, it has. Fortunately, we're in a car and not trying to cross the moors in a horse and cart or a pony and trap. So um, yeah, we're, we're a little bit more comfortable in here. In here, the cabin is 19 degrees Celsius and we're just clipping along at 40 miles an hour because I just don't feel the need to go too fast. Speaking of too fast, last few vlogs were recorded on the way up to and then around the outskirts of Bristol and I thought hey I'm gonna go visit my sister I'll take the cameras I'll take some spare batteries and just you know see what happens if we uh, if we can record a vlog on the way there and the original plan was jump in the car drive from my place to uh, the Toyota dealership and then then I could update the service plan for the car that normally takes about 25 30 minutes 40 minutes into the vlog, I was just like, nah, I, I'm running out of stuff to talk about now. So I stopped the vlog and uh, yeah, it took another hour and 20 after I turned that off to actually get to Toyota. Um, it was two hours to do a 35 minute journey or a 25 minute journey. And I was just like, what is going on? So after that, uh, from Toyota to Exeter, um, it was fairly clear sailing and I was just like, oh, I should probably start, I should probably get the cameras back out and just carry on doing bits of vlog again. And then around Exeter, the traffic kind of, uh, it got congested and it didn't ease up even as I got to Bristol. So from the A30 all the way up the M5 motorway, it was just, it was just stop start traffic all the way. Every time we got to a junction, all the traffic on the motorway stopped. It's three lane motorway and everything just, halted. Um, so when I got to Gordano Services, I was like, I'm not getting back on the motorway because the original plan was get back on the motorway and then drive up Portway uh, underneath um, like Brunel's bridge and everything. But it was, it was rush hour. And honestly, I just, at that point, I just kind of wasn't in the mood. So we took the shortcut but, uh, through Somerset into the back of Bristol. And actually that shaved off a lot of travel time. Um, to my normal journey, and I think I'll probably do that again in future anyway. Um, but yeah, there's, so looking around, there is a, a subreddit on the website Reddit, and it's a lot of people who get very upset at cars. They're like, oh, we don't like people using their cars. Uh, this might get a bit beepy. There we go, there it is. It's the parking sensors cooking off. Are they two BMWs? Oh, of course they wouldn't. BMWs won't ever let you out. Uh, let's do this. It gets a bit narrow through here. Yeah, my, my personal feeling about BMW drivers is don't. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a subreddit that really doesn't like, ooh, that's wet, really doesn't like cars and they think everyone should be taking public transport. And I did consider, taking pub I was like maybe I should have taken the train to my sisters maybe I should have just vlogged on the train 
uh, being one of those people. And I remembered last time I took the train, it took something like nine hours to uh, take what is so the normal the, the normal journey to my sister's is about three and a half hours maybe four hours the train journey took nine hours the car journey even through traffic took six hours and it's it's just incredible how bad public transport is in the UK if you're not in London uh, in London, I gather what you can do is you can hop on a bus because there's just buses everywhere. Everyone has a bus. There's a bus parked in everyone's driveway, it seems. And uh, the frequency of public transport there is amazing. Down here in Cornwall, well, let me regale you with a tale. So back when uh, my brother wasn't living uh, nearby, he was living, I think he was living in St. Ives. And he came over to my place and we recorded us playing Smash Brothers. And I believe that recording is still on the channel somewhere. Um, so we recorded a bunch of stuff on the Nintendo Wii. And then he said, I'm going to go home now. I will take the bus home because he doesn't drive. And I had a motorbike, but I didn't have like a spare helmet and leathers for him. So uh, I was like, OK, I'll chum, fare thee well. And he went out to stand uh, where the bus stops, because there isn't an actual bus stop, it's we're out in the countryside. Um, and the bus didn't turn up. There was no bus. It was six o'clock in the afternoon or early evening, and the buses stop at six. There is no more bus after six o'clock. So he was out there, and I, I was looking out the window, and I was like, he's been out there an awful long time. So he there was a bus that came by and the guy said oh I can take you to the next stop but you ain't going any further than that they so he took him a quarter of a mile down the road my brother got off the bus and then sent me a text and was like e yeah I'm stuck <laughs> there are no buses back home and I'm like oh so I ended up giving him some money and he got a taxi home instead um, this year so that was a few years ago this year uh, the year of our Lord, 2023. Uh, just navigating this junction. Yeah, the, the, the 2023. Uh, we all went out for a meal for my birthday. It wasn't actually for my birthday. The family were just getting together and it just happened to be that that was, that was an event. So um, we all went downtown, uh, actually over St. Ives and got, uh, uh, it was Indian. It was, a, it was a lovely. It was like three or four generations of family around the table. And my brother was like, so yeah, if we'd have taken the bus over here, I was like, yeah. You know the bus stops at eight o'clock? And I'm like, oh. That's a bit of an improvement, but not by much. So if you wanted to go out like, and have a meal or have a drink or whatever, you have a curfew of like, before eight o'clock. So you've got to leave at like seven in order to get home. So yeah, the buses down here are pretty bad. Last time I actually took a bus was in order to take the train to go to Bristol. And um, it didn't turn up. I, was, I went out and I, I'm always early for things. I hate being late for things. So I was out there and I was like, oh, well, I've got my bags and everything. Uh, I need to take the bus to, get to the train station to then uh, jump aboard the train. Um, I don't want to be late, so I'm going to take the earlier bus. And I went down there and I was like even 20 minutes early. And uh, the bus didn't turn up. It just didn't turn up. And I was just like, oh, where is bus? Well, the next bus that came along, that's brave. The next bus that came along, um, said, well, I'm not the bus that you wanted to catch, but I don't know where the other bus is. I'm just like, mate, what is going on? It's like when I was back in college, that happened. You'd be waiting for the college, well, not even the college bus because there wasn't one, just a bus, and it just didn't turn up. And sometimes they turned up and then broke down because the buses down here do that. And my favorite one was the bus that turned up we all got aboard the bus that turned up and then it was leaking carbon monoxide into the passenger cabin. And the guy was like, oh, I think there's something wrong here. Mate, we're all getting a little bit sleepy. 
So, yeah, public transport, like the alternatives to the car, especially down in Cornwall, there are just none. Uh, and I would rather spend six hours in traffic in a comfortable enclosed space without other people. Oh my God, yeah, when I was taking the bus to college, people would get on and there was this one couple that got on and they smelt like wet dog. But every time the bus braked, the smell went forward and every time it accelerated, the smell came back. Oh, and then there's the people who get on, who've got diseases, like they're coughing up a lung, and it's just like, oh, you have influenza. Mm, we're all dead, I guess. And then there's the other people who will find, who will find the young lady on her own and then just sit next to her on a virtually empty bus. And I'm just like, oh, that's a creepy dude. So yeah, I, I don't like public transport. I, I hate public transport. And I would much rather have a car with all the issues that uh, come with it. They're expensive, um, you have to keep them maintained, you have to keep them fueled, you have to keep them insured. Insurance is insane. I don't know what happened in the last year or so, but the cost of insurance went up massively. But um, yeah, I think if you want your freedom, car is definitely the way to go. And yes, I know they're kind of damaging to the environment, but this one's a hybrid. And we are currently an EV, according to the dashboard, an electronic vehicle. So yeah, we are all uh, switching between petrol and electric when we need, which is why driving at 40 on a 60 mile an hour road is actually better because we're spending more time on battery. So good, uh, that was an experience. The weather has been an experience. It's raining over there, but not where we are currently. Uh, the car, I tried to keep, uh, keep the car clean, but it is a never ending job. Oh, it's insane. And what I need to do is come to B&Q because I need batteries, hopefully for another, uh, another video, a video that I haven't recorded yet. It was one of the Tech and Sundry videos. Now I need to go in here because it requires very specific batteries. What do you need? C cell. What? Yeah, C is in Charlie. Charlie cell batteries. Who, who has ever used C cell batteries? I think, um, I'm gonna go over there, my dudes. Um, yeah, C cell batteries. I think I've only seen two things that require that, and that's one of the things that I'm about to use. And, no, that's about it. Yeah, I think I've bought C cell batteries before, and then thrown them out because I got the wrong type. Yeah, nothing really uses them. Weird. D-cell, sure. The Tomy Turbo Turn-In Dashboard uses D-cell batteries. So I'm gonna reverse in here. These people have been walking across the, uh, walking across the car park and we've just been kind of crossing paths. Neat. So yeah, that's why I've come to, to B&Q Block and Quail. And we will stop. Good, right, that was a short vlog, possibly. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for the time being. If you like these little vlogs, definitely leave a like, leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed before or yet. Uh, if you want notifications, dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.